Hey, this is Time Bomb, and if it's your first time checking out the channel, hit that subscribe button to catch all the updates. Thanks a lot for joining me here today. I'm just going to do a breakdown on my setup on how I use the 3 4 cover for show drop two, cover for drop show two. <laughs> always mess that up to stop the pass. Um, now, a lot of times I'll use this as my run stop, and you know, opponents will still try and do something here to pass on you. So, what I will do is I always have um, my defense um, set up to base a line. Oops, set up my defense to base a line, then pinch the uh, the D line, spread out the linebackers, bring the safety right into the box, but put him into a inside third so there you see it plays the middle of the field then and i always use her colbert and i put a deep half on the same side as colbert so he's kind of moving in then i put my middle linebacker two he's going to be in a spy and middle linebacker one i'll man him up on a tight end or sometimes the running back as well depending on what i'm seeing from my opponent so the any sort of drag or something should get played by the purple clouds that are on the field there by the outside linebackers um as well, if they do a any sort of bubble, as long as you've got them, if you've got them spread out, they should play any sort of like bubble play, basically as well. And your job as the user is just kind of watch the middle of the field, the seam off the bat, especially here because you've got the inside third on the other side of the field. You've got to watch the seam just for off the snap of the ball to make sure he doesn't quick throw it there, throw a little slant or something like that. Then you're gonna watch kind of like the middle. You'll be able to like lurk over here, or maybe help out with any post cutting in or anything after the snap of the ball. So we got uh, some deep posts here on on offense, but see that should definitely get get covered. Um, take a look here yeah my user's just not moving so we got all the time in the world but you see everything's pretty much locked up you could maybe playmaker b or just like maybe check it down to x but that's kind of like late you see basically your user should be able to shut something down like that he's actually playing and then you're just kind of watching all over the field it does require um a very good it, it requires a good user and you have to use the safety which some people don't like doing so again just kind of put the middle linebacker into a spy, man up the other tight end or running back with middle linebacker one, put your strong safety into a deep middle, but kind of move him into the box, and then your DB on the same side as your free safety, put him into a deep half, and that's the basic setup, and that's what I use starting out most games. What this is really vulnerable to is um, just an out route from the wide receivers, you know, just a smart routed out route is gonna get burned. So when they start to do that against me, I mix in some Tampa two to just kind of throw them off, shut them down there so they can't just use that to burn me. Keep them guessing, really. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me there, guys. Just so that kind of, using that kind of Tampa two is gonna have a cloud on the field and it makes it a lot tougher to throw those. You can get a lot of picks when you have that cloud versus an out route or a corner route off the side there. Don't get me wrong, they can still get beat, but they shouldn't throw it because it's there and it looks a lot tougher to throw on because the deep blue is going to do like you'll see watch the cb on the on my cb on the left side of the field watch the way that he backs up back pedals and turns so as soon as he turns that's what i use to let me know i can throw uh the out route against them because the cloud flat here will show the difference should have this in my audibles here now look at the same thing he first of all he moved up a little bit closer when we went into it um So watch the way the difference that he's gonna play as a cloud flat. As he back up, back state. He doesn't even back up. He stays with it right like that. So you can just kind of tell when that's coming, and you can read it that way based on what to throw. So if I see that that he's staying put, kind of, then you can tell that it's the cloud flat as well. So he's not gonna run back and backpedal like he does on the deep out. So that's kind of how I read it when I'm on offense and why I want to adjust it when I'm on defense to kind of limit him, right? Like so, if I just go right into the uh, Tampa two here though. Because there, we can keep him from base aligning, right? We will keep him from moving up there, and it really disguises which coverage that he's in that way. And you're, you've got your two high safeties in both of the situations because you're the cover four, so it really looks similar, and it can throw your opponent off. Now, when I go into the cover two, I would probably keep it stock, but you can mess around with some different things. And it's the same thing, whereas I am using the safety, so the responsibility is on me to cover the middle. Sometimes I'll put, like, I'll have Shazir in middle linebacker one, and I'll put him in a deep half, or I'll put my CB in the deep half, and then I'll play sort of like lurking this side of the field that the deep half is going to cover deep with. Just depends if I'm 
in a situation where I think I should be covering the deep or I need the cloud flat on that side, so I have to cover the deep. And that's just what I like to mix in with my cover four. So using that cover four show drop two with the deep half should stop you from any deep bombs. Don't get me wrong, someone's got crazy speed. You can still get beat, nothing's foolproof, but the, having those adjustments out there to the cover four and simply, we'll go over it one last time here. So we're gonna pinch the line, spread the linebackers. We're gonna put Y, or middle linebacker two, into a spy. We're gonna man up A onto a tight end, or you know, if it was a three wide set, maybe still the, the slot wide receiver on that side, or maybe the running back, depending. And then we're gonna put A, our strong safety, into an inside third, and we're gonna put X, our CB, into a deep half. I'll use her with, with the free safety over the middle of the field, kind of watching the seam off the, off the snap of the ball, making sure they don't quick quick throw it and then kind of just watching and lurking over the middle or wherever I need to be following the QB, sending the spy if he tries to roll out. That's basically it. That's my three, four, <laughs> show, cover four, show, drop two. That Was that it? No, that was probably wrong. But that's my setup for this play that I've been using pretty much all year. I think I have like 18,000 calls with it in Madden 20, which is ridiculous. I've played a lot of games, but that's my breakdown on it. Let me know if you have any questions before and I'll go over it. Really appreciate you checking out the video. Hit subscribe. Give the vid a like. Check out my Twitch, The Time Bomb Tips. I've been streaming a lot over there. Thanks a lot for checking it out, guys, and I will catch you later.